Hello everyone, this is Dashcam out east. I'm here to show you our brand new 2021 Honda Pilot EXL. Now before we get started, I want to make it abundantly clear that I am not a professional and this review is in no way professional at all. I'm just a guy who likes to drive a lot and has a Dashcam channel. Last time I made one of these videos, I got a bunch of dislikes and I think those people are trying to look for a more professional review so before we get started I just want to make it clear this is just my personal opinion as someone who drives a lot and has a dash cam channel all right so like I said this is the 2021 Honda Pilot it is last year's model but it was we bought it brand new it had never been owned by anyone before the only miles it had on it were from the dealership parking lot and whatever test drives people went on including us so when we drove out of the lot it had 21 total miles not 21,000 21 we've already put a few hundred miles on it um, but that's how it goes we bought it to be used uh, all right what else can I say here so like we like I said this is the EXL trim which is two up from the base model you got um, LX and EX and then EXL and then the the more special editions above it like touring and black edition and special edition um, originally we were looking for the the EX model as it had many of the features that we were looking for such as fog lights and signal lights on the mirror but as um, as we continued looking for a car we real my wife realized that maybe she would actually prefer the power lift gate that comes with the EXL trim so then that's what uh, we ended up going with and it has a few additional bonus features that we were not originally looking for, but we're not complaining. <laughs> so, first off, uh, obviously we're starting with the exterior of the vehicle. And let's show you that power lift gate that I was talking to you about before. Uh, let's see, I just I gotta hold the button here. There we go. And it's the same thing to shut the door as well. But let's start showing you some of the interior cargo space. So this is with all the seats up. You got a bit of space back here. And um, another compartment in here, which I'm using to store some of the basic car things. And if you hold tight just a second, I'm going to show you something once I take those things out. All right, now that I've taken those things out, I'll show you something I find interesting. You can take this and put it down there like that. What else is also cool is this is a double side. So you have the, the plastic side and a carpeted side. So you can put either one of those sides at the bottom or at the top. Just bear with me, I'm doing this one-handed. <laughs> Alright, so like that. And like that. Okay, there we go. And of course, the seats fold down 60-40. Just pull this string. I said just pull this string. There, okay, you gotta push and pull. Okay, so you gotta pull the string. No, you gotta just pull it. Okay, so there we go. So that's with the third row down. You got a little bit of extra space. Okay, so let's pull these seats back up. Now, let's move to the middle row. Uh, here, I'll show you this button to close the power lift gate. Actually, before we go to the middle row, uh, now that we're here, I just want to talk about how much I appreciate the Honda changed the tail light setup that they have. You know, when they first 
re completely redesigned the pilot in 2016. Every you know the whole tail light was red. The signal was red. Uh, you know the part where the reverse lights are is red, and they actually had the reverse lights down on the bumper, which in my personal opinion I feel is not as safe as where they currently are now. I feel like tail light, uh, reverse lights should be part of the tail light package, if you will. Um, I also I think they improved the tail light and brake light a lot with the 2016 model. This part is only the brake light with this model. This whole thing is the brake light, and in my opinion, looks absolutely spectacular. Um, I also like that they switched to the amber signal lights. Uh, this happened in 2019 when they just did a small, small facelift of the pilot, which I feel looks a lot better. And in my opinion, uh, amber signals are a lot safer than the red ones uh, because they're a lot more obvious. Okay, now let's move up to the middle row, like I had said. So here we got the middle row. Got the car seat there already. Um, I took out the this other car seat that I had here to show you guys the interior of the vehicle. Um, so. See, you can press a button here, it folds back, then you can get into the back seats. Okay, fold it back. Um, they also fold down just like the just like the third row. Um, that one does too, but I got the car seat there so I can't show that to you right now. Built-in sunshade for the kids. The other side has it as well. All right, let's move up to the driver's seat. The turn signal mirror. Uh, it's something that I was definitely looking for in a vehicle. Okay, now it's talking about some of the bonus features that uh, we were not looking for but are not complaining about. Memory seats. For me, that's something that uh, I would that I enjoy having, even though it wasn't something I was you know wasn't like a make or break for the, for me to have the the memory seats um, but it is something that comes in handy for me especially since uh, you know whenever someone else drives a vehicle you know like my wife I'm a lot taller than her or if you know, take the vehicle in for service the service person drives a the vehicle they always put its seats way back because there's so much they are usually a lot taller than me um, so I like the fact that you know I can just I can change it let's just show you here you know, let's just do something crazy like folding it all the way, putting it all the way up. Then I just press this one. It goes back to the way I had it. Okay, uh, another bonus feature that we're not complaining about. Leather seats. It comes with the EXL trim. And as we step inside, you'll notice something else. A sunroof. Let me open it up for you guys. I don't like the fact that the door is open. <laughs> okay. Closing. And it also, also does a tilt. Alright, let's get to some of the other features here. Uh, it comes with a standard with all newer Hondas. Uh, the collision prevention off-road mitigation, uh, you know, the traction control. I actually ended up turning this off because I tend to drive more towards the right of side of the road and it uh, is always complaining to me that I'm leaving the road when I'm actually not. And then it, you know, shakes the steering wheel a little bit and it tries to pull me back on and I'm like, no, I'm good where I am, don't worry. <laughs> um, okay, let's start it up here and let's get the front front screen as well. Seatbelt. Yeah, I don't need to do that right now. I'm just showing you guys the video. Yeah, road departure mitigation off. Okay, so we got the trip computer. Uh, you know, shows the average fuel economy and all that stuff, fun stuff. 
Um, and you know, you're, you're seeing it go down right now because it, I'm just idling and the, uh, I've only got 4.6 miles on this current trip. I like to keep track of fuel tanks, so I have it set to actually reset trip A whenever I get a new tank of gas. Um, but let's show you trip B. That's uh, 20.6. It's okay. I've seen it go up to about 25, 26, uh, but I've only driven it on the highway once. So um, anyway, so talking about fuel economy, it is actually very similar to the 2010 Mazda 3 that I had. And that was a small sedan. This is a large SUV, all-wheel drive, and the fuel economy is similar to that. Uh, with the, the Mazda I had, I remember being happy whenever it got above 25 miles to the gallon. So, anyway, uh, let's show you some other features on here. These aren't a huge deal, but I think it's cool. The torque. Uh, I think is is fun to have. It shows you what wheels are being used, and even though this is an all-wheel drive vehicle, sometimes it's only using the front, and then you can actually see sometimes when you know you need a little extra power, it'll bring in the back wheels. Um, something that was a bit surprising to me: sometimes only one of the back wheels is being used. You know, like if I'm in the middle of a turn, it will use the the side that I'm turning into which I find fascinating and I think the fact that it doesn't use all four wheels all the time is how it's able to keep a good fuel economy for this size of vehicle. You know, this, we got this screen here, the climate control. It's got auto dimming, so if someone behind you has bright headlights, the mirror is auto dimming so you don't have to do, you know, flipping the switch anymore. Else, um, you know, here's some other basic things. I got all my charging stuff here. Got the, uh, compartment here. It's nice and spacious. I got some of my dash cam stuff there as well. It's just the view looking back from the front. Also turned on the headlights and fog lights to show you guys. Uh, and the LEDs are not reacting well to the <laughs> phone camera so Let's see if I get in closer if it gets any better. Uh, I was doing that, that LED flashing thing. Uh, I wanted to talk about the Econ mode and Sport mode. So I typically have it in Econ mode, uh, Normal mode. It's, it's still got pretty good acceleration for being in, in Econ mode. It's a lot better than the inside, that's for sure. Um, you can also turn off Eco mode. And you can also put it into Sport mode. Uh, so down here you got drive slash sport. And if you can also have an econ mode at the same time as sport, and you can also have the econ mode off. So you've got a few different options when it comes to um, you know fuel efficiency and how much acceleration you're gonna get. Uh, like I said, it's it's pretty good acceleration in econ mode and normal. Uh, I've tried sport mode once. It's pretty awesome, <laughs> but uh, trying to save gas, you know, it's expensive, and especially now with this bigger vehicle. It's uh, uh, pretty much twice as much to fill as it was with the Insight. Um, here, we have a button here that changes the traction. Okay, so if we look back up on the screen, we have normal, snow, mud, and sand. Um, I do know that it somehow changes something with the transmission and the torque that allows you to um, be able to handle those specific situations. Um, obviously, haven't had a chance to try any of those yet, but I look forward to trying the snow one. Um, well, I'm not. I'm looking. I'm not looking forward to the snow, but I look forward to trying it in the snow. Uh, because that's one of the reasons we went with this all-wheel drive vehicle is, you know, we're living in an area that gets a lot of snow in the winter and the amount of times I got stuck with the Insight, not looking to repeat that again this winter, so. I'm just going to show you the horn. There's people around, but, you know, it's just a quick little.